Good morning, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comics in 5 Minutes. I'm your ever-loving host, Shorty, and today we're going to look at Nadia and the Nomobots, which is one of those, like, odd little things from Opus where I was willing to give it a try because I'm mostly used to seeing Opus doing, like, licensed things. They do a lot of musical rate stuff uh, with Intemptation. Um, I think they did the Cradle of Phil stuff, the Bill and Ted comic books. Their label, their logo even looks like a record and a needle dropping. Um, so knowing they were doing something a bit different, going for like a, a unique sci-fi IP, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to check this out. It does involve two creators which I've never heard of, uh, or at least not been aware of, should I say. Uh, Diego Agrimbao, and I apologise, man, and... Juan Manuel Tumburos, and again, I apologise that both of those people have pronounced their name incorrectly, but I wasn't really aware of them. I went in with no real apprehension, no real expectation of what I was going to be getting, and I've got to say, within the first few pages, I was absolutely blown away. Um, and this sounds kind of like I'm about to say the rest of it fell off the cliff a little bit. It did not. It maintained quality, but not quite the same pace, but that's absolutely fine. I think maintaining a really fast pace where a lot of stuff is uh, dropped on you can be hard to do and easy to get wrong. Uh, and absolutely nails what I really want out of an issue one. And I, I know the way I review comic books is kind of limiting. I pretty much only ever look at issue ones unless I'm doing my best of the year rundown where I pick a select few and go into a bit more detail. That's because I want these reviews to be accessible. Like, if you want to know what a comic book starts like, this is what I'm here for. And honestly, this hits so many of the beats which I want out of a comic book. It does not do huge amounts of info drop. It does not start a story before it gets interesting. It does not have a weird, let's get the gang together in a very, very stereotypical, boring kind of way. It also trusts the reader to kind of be okay with just going along for the ride. And I am going to tell you a little bit about what happens in the comic book. I, I generally try not to do that, but to tell you what it's, a, like, what it's like instead of what it's about. But in this case, I think it's worthwhile to show just how much is going on here. Because it starts in a very ethereal, dreamlike state. Um, and that page is absolutely brilliant. Um, fantastic lush colouring, uh, which we then find out is actually a drug trip. I first thought it was a hallucination or a dream sequence, but no, it turns out one of the main characters of this comic book is taking drugs to experience something else, like another person's experience, and the person taking the drugs is a robot. And these drugs are called um, uh, emo pills, I think they are, um, and we find out, uh, of course, the next few pages, that these are a weird thing that they record from humans and give them to robots so they can experience uh, more tactile sensations and also more emotional sensations. And it's like, oh, okay, this is a really cool start. But then we find out that this is something done by a black market thing. These drugs are addictive and not all robots are okay with it. And basically, this is a criminal enterprise. And we find out that the people involved, the humans involved, are treated really badly, like they're threatened with extreme pain. We find out quite what the pain is like later on in the comic book. But it's very clear from the early get-go that we are supposed to sympathise with these humans. We find out that the humans later on are like just a few that are left behind and that most humans have left the planet uh, and they left the nomobots in to kind of maintain things while they're gone. But then the police turn up before we get into all this kind of thing, and the, these are robo-police. And they're also like heavily corrupt and totally in the pocket of uh, bad guys and uh, corporate interests. And we don't get this told explicitly, but it's certainly there textually or contextually, that it's like, yeah, they are taking money from these people, but not obviously being paid enough, so have maybe gone to some other organisation, and are now turning up to just tear this organisation apart. This clearly the relationship these people have with the underground drug network, but they still have no problem getting rid of them, and even though the bull crap charge they're using of uh, cruelty to humans is what they're using to basically get in there and disrupt it. They have no problem killing the humans. Humans are a sub-group in this world. They are uh, effectively a working class, a, uh, somewhere where the, their entire capital is just who they are and what they do. Uh, but then the robot janitors who work there, who are hooked on the emo pills, grab them and run out. Grab the, one of the humans and runs out. This is the first few pages. All of this is what happens. Quite a lot of it is what I'm textually figuring out, and some of it gets revealed later on through the rest of the story. It then does slow down. It gives you some room to breathe. But the comic book absolutely trusts you as the reader to figure out what's going on, to take the clues, to read between the lines, to look at what we're being told and what we're being shown, instead of having a hand held through the story. It's fantastic. Absolutely captivated me from the get-go. There's a really nice twist at the end where um, some little beats that have been set up throughout the issue pay off really nicely, and it makes me want to come back and find out what's going on afterwards. And 
after some Oprah stuff where other than it being like tied to an artist or a creator I've quite enjoyed this is one of the few where I'm like damn I like this just for what it is I have no idea who these people are I like the fact that it's a brand new IP I went in with absolutely no expectations and have had my little socks blown off absolutely fantastic if you're looking enough to see a copy of this somewhere go and grab it it looks fantastic and the story is great the writing is superb the world is really well done I have literally I have one tiny complaint I think there's a spelling mistake on like page two or three but other than that I have absolutely no complaints it's absolutely spectacular I hope if you get a copy of yourself you enjoy it as much as I did that's it for me for now though until I see you again look after you everyone stay safe bye